Hey guys, welcome back to the Quick Shifts channel. Today, we're gonna install on our Jeep the winch and the winch mount plate that we used to have on the Moab Wrangler that we had previously. So today, we're gonna see if it's exactly the same or if we have to do something different to get that to fit onto this Jeep JT Gladiator. So stick around. All right, to start off, let's first take off this cap here and then we'll take off the cover underneath. All right, to take that top cover off, we need a 45 Torx bit, and we just go ahead and back these suckers off. Now that we have that top tray off, we're gonna take off the skid plate using a 13 millimeter socket. All right, now that we have that skid plate off, we're gonna use a 5 8 bit to take these bolts out on each side here off of this clip and take these clips off. All right, next, we're gonna go ahead and pop this off. There's a clip over here and one down here. Use a screwdriver or a pick tool to go ahead and pop that up and pull it right out. All right, now that that's out of the way, we're gonna focus on the two bolts here. And then on the other side, there's two more. And then over here, there's these two. And then on the other side of the frame, there's two more. And once we have those off, we should be able to pull this bumper right off. These are an 18 millimeter socket. All right, flipping over to the other side to get these two. All right, so now we're backing off the insides with the 18 millimeter. And the same thing on the other side. One thing I almost forgot, better unplug your fog lights before you yank the bumper off. So there, but now that we have those bolts off, we will go ahead and just yank this bumper off. Just and pull that just bumper pull. back and set it on the ground out of the way. All right, for this next part, I like to cheat and use my lift here to go ahead and position this up in its spot. And then we'll start reversing the process we just did and fastening in this winch plate with the winch already mounted on it. I almost forgot we gotta take these two brackets off. There's one here and one in here. And that's a, another 5 8 bolt. All right guys, so we get the winch balanced up up here with the jack, get it aligned. And we start in these top two bolts by hand. You wanna make sure you don't cross thread anything. So you get the left side started. And you go ahead and get the right side started. And then we'll start the bottom two bolts. Same way, down here and over here. Just get them started by hand. And then we'll do the same thing over here. All right, so now I've got these just hand tight. I haven't torqued them down. Now we can go ahead and get the jack out of there. All right, before we put the front bumper back onto here, we're gonna go ahead and take this front little cover off. Now it's an easy time to get these clips on the back side. And you just give them a little push and push them through. makes life a lot easier. And then we're gonna pick up the bumper. And walk the bumper back on as such. And then we'll tighten those four bolts back here, back on. The so two back here, two here. Two here and two there. All right guys, now that we have the four bolts back here, two here, two on this other side, and then the same over there. Next you wanna go ahead and plug your fog lights back in. And then we're gonna to get to running these wires up through the engine bay here to the battery. And before we do that, we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and disconnect the battery. I know, should have disconnected it to start with. 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take the battery leads off. All right guys, so for feeding the cable up through this hole, a trick I like to use is a little feeding line, run that down from the top, hook the cables onto there, and then pull it up and out. So here you can see I've hooked it onto the end of the line, and then I'll pull it up through from the top side. We pull them up through, we've got the cables coming up through here, and zip tie them so they're out of the way, so they're not running into anything. Not touching any moving parts not by any heat source and uh, get them nicely up here to connect to our terminals I'm doing it that's probably where you'll spend most of your time is weaving these up through there properly and i ended up bringing them up through here between the air box and the battery and then that gives you space to put the extra cable that uh, i had on this setup and then ran it through plugged it in able to keep your protector cable up here on there and then tie it into here. And you should be all set to go with the witch winch operating now with power. And we'll test that in just a second. And then the last thing we need to do is put the skid guard back on. All right, guys, so I get a lot of questions about putting this on and having to elongate the bolt holes in the uh, skid plate. I'm gonna show you guys if I can get this sucker on there without having to elongate those holes and see if we can make this work just by loosely fitting it with the bolts and putting it up there. So let's see if we can get so it to work. Loosely fit this bolt and then we caddy corner, loosely fit this one in here and then we'll go ahead and do the same all the way down the rail and then uh, we'll loosely fit this one up also and then we'll snug them all down and that keeps us from having to elongate any of the the holes on here as it does know you may have to do and there you go carefully run those bolts up and skid plates on front mounts on and the winch is installed and i did check it we are working properly All set to go. There's your winch install on the Jeep JT Gladiator. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this channel, you like these write ups or these uh, installs, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and leave a comment down below of what you'd like to see next and what we should do with this Jeep Gladiator. Thanks for watching.